सो ए लॉन्ग सोलिनॉइड इज गिवन विद ए क्रॉस सेक्शन रेडियस आर एंड एन टन पर मीटर करंट आई इज फ्लोइंग एंड एट अ डिस्टेंस एक्स फ्रॉम द एंड ऑफ द सोलिनॉइड वी आर सपोज टू फाइंड द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड सो ही इज नॉट मैंशनड x towards which directions we'll calculate x in both the directions so let's calculate that so this is the end of the solenoid and at this side it is this side it is very long so it is extending to infinity so here we are going to use this result which we have derived in our theory lectures that field at any point on the solenoid is mu not ni by 2 Times sine theta one plus sine theta two. So where theta one and theta two are the angles subtended by the uh, perpendicular to the axis and the edges of the solenoid. So in first case, let's take the x outside, outside the solenoid. So theta one is this almost ninety degree because the coil is uh, very long. So we'll take theta one as pi by two. And theta two will take as minus of ten inverse x pi r. So it uh, theta two will be negative. So when the point is inside, then the angles are positive. If a point goes outside, then one of the angles will become negative. So why ten inverse x pi r? So this is the theta, theta two. So this distance is x, and this is r, right? This is x, and this is r. So tan of theta two is x by r but we have to take a minus sign so b out is mu not ni by 2 1 minus x upon root so this is tan of theta 2 so sin of theta 2 will be x upon root of x square plus r square so we have put a mod sign here because this term will always be negative so b out is less so as you go away from the solenoid obviously the field should reduce so this negative sign makes sense now for the point x inside the solenoid so again this case theta 1 will be pi by 2 just like here theta 2 this time will be positive and its value is tan inverse x by r so this is x this is r so theta 2 is tan inverse x by So we'll put the values theta one, theta two here, and get mu not ni by two one plus mod x by root of x square plus r square. So you can see interestingly that if you go out at a distance x or you go inside at a distance x, the amount it decreases is same as the amount it increases. So amount it decreases outside the solenoid is also X by root x square plus r square, which is the amount in uh, amount it increases from here as you go inside. Now plotting. So he has asked the he has given the plot of x by r, b versus x by r. We'll just keep it simple. We'll plot b versus x. So as you go away. It will approach zero. B will approach zero. So as you put the x tends to infinity here, this term will be nearly one, and B out will be zero. And again, as x approaches minus infinity, so in this case, this will again approach one. So one plus one is two. So B inside will approach mu not ni, which we know is the result for a Field inside a long solenoid, and at the edge, at this point, it is mu not ni by two, because here the x is zero. So by either of the equations, you will get b at the edge as mu not ni by two. Now for b part, the distance x not we need to find the distance x not to the point on the axis at which the value of b differs by Eta is equal to one percent from that in the middle section of the solenoid. So in the middle section, because it is a quite a long solenoid, we can say that the field should be mu not ni. 
and we need to find where it becomes the where it reduces by 0.01 percent of sorry 0 0.01 fraction of the total field of the maximum field so here first thing you can say that here also he has not given x should be inside or outside but you can see that the outside the maximum field is only half of mu not ni so it cannot the x not cannot lie outside the solenoid see again this is the edge of the solenoid where the field is mu not ni by 2 so after that it only decreases and we need to find the point where it is 0 0.99 times mu not ni so obviously that point will lie inside the solenoid so inside the solenoid at distance x we just derived field is mu not ni by 2 1 plus x by root x square plus r square so he has he has just given the it differs by 1% but we know that it decreases by 1% so b not maximum value is obviously more than this at resistance x so change b not minus b by b not is equal to eta so eta will take us in fraction 0 0.01 so we'll not put the value here we'll put the value at the end so this becomes 1 minus uh, 1 minus eta this side 1 minus eta is equal to b by b naught is equal to so if you do b by b naught you will get 1 by 2 1 plus this so you can write it in the form of r by x so you just take uh, take these terms there square and do the inverse and subtract 1 and again take the root you will get r by x is equal to root of 1 minus 1 minus 2 ta whole square minus 1 you will get actually plus minus but obviously we will reject the minus value so we will take the plus 1 so simplifying it again x we will get our answer r 1 minus 2 eta by 4 eta into 1 minus eta so as eta is very low it is just 0 0.01 so we can neglect this term and we can neglect this term also We'll get the x as r by 2 root 0 0.01, which is 5r. So just at a distance 5r from the edge, the field reaches 99% of its maximum value. So the curve is quite sharp. So at end of solenoid field is 50% so here it is just 50% and within the distance of 5R just 5R from the end it reaches 99% of its maximum value so for all practical purposes within distance of 5R we can take the field as mu naught ni so these are the answers of our two problems